in the in the past, it had just been basically a meetup. Uh, Miguel Fernandez and, and a few other folks were sitting around a table trying to figure out like, hey, we got people on the insurance side, we got people on the tech side. Y'all are creating this, we're creating that, and like, how do we how do we start making connections together in the insure tech space? Uh, so I uh, like like some other great organizations just kind of got together over a beer and, um, you know, started getting together on a regular basis, mm. uh, sharing ideas, meeting people from different, different walks, wholesale side, carrier side, technology side, service provider side, all, all, all walks. And, uh, you know, kind of, kind of started to grow, uh, the membership, grow the base. Um, uh, and then after, uh, some time, uh, you know, I kind of got involved and, and wanted to help out, uh, amongst, other people helping out, uh, but started to, to have some like significant programming, uh, if mm -hmm. you will. For example, Dig In was here in Austin. Uh, we got you know, three, four companies who are startups uh, from the local community to pitch in front of all these people who are in town from all over the world, frankly, yeah. uh, and then uh, got a bus together uh, and then shuffled them around to their offices so they can go literally oh, wow. see what the startup life looks like, you know, uh, most of them are in big buildings and in big cities yeah. uh, downtown, uh, and they don't see what the the warehouse might look like, or the you know the 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 minimal AC might look like in a warehouse right. uh, with the ping pong table and, and all that kind of stuff. And so, I, I thought that was a great deal. But there were there were events like that. Uh, we started to transition into uh, you know some formal programming where we'd have uh, some panels come talk. Uh, it was very heavy, heavily focused on the product side and on the tech side uh, in, the, in the early days. Uh, but me being a non-product, non-tech guy, uh, you know, I, I wanted to see stuff on the sales side and on the investor side. And, and, and so each of us who have come along has put our own, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say preferences in, into, uh, you know, how we, how we lead it. But We've had some great deals, and I'll turn it over to Andrew if he's got anything to add there. Uh, we've had some great uh, companies uh, here in Austin that have invited us in to their office. So we've had uh, meetings at the Zebra uh, downtown. We've been to uh, the Hippo's office uh, here in Austin. They've got, uh, I know they're not headquartered here, but uh, they're now uh, CEO is yeah. here and um, huge presence. So we've had an event there. Um, Texas Mutual has a, a beautiful facility uh, over in the the Miller development, which is a really nice development here in Austin, uh, with with a, their own rooftop like venue. I mean, just just crazy stuff. And so it's been really cool to see all of that, uh, you know, kind of morph over time and get people, you know, like inside the walls of USAA's design lab. Like that was the highest security venue that we had to go to. Yeah. Uh, but that was that was really cool. And that was all pre-pandemic. And so I'm Dave Perez. And I'm Andrew Carell from InsureTech ATX. This is the future of insurance.